Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. Hi, my name is Norman Meir and I'm an IPC Master Instructor. And today we have with us another IPC Master Instructor. This is Tammy. Revoice. Welcome. And this month's soldering tip will be on ESD packaging of why, what, and when. So, let's get started. Why do we use ESD packaging material? It says ESD components and assemblies must be protected from static sources when not being worked on in static, safe environments or workstations. That is the why. Okay, now the next one is to be, is the what type of material is there available? You see the big box behind Tammy there is a tote. Now what we do with this tote is we can transport boards from one working space to another. Now one thing you gotta remember about this is when you put it inside of there, you want that circuit board to fit snugly in there. You don't want it to slide around because remember, sliding creates static electricity. So you want it to fit tight and then you can transport it, okay? If you look back behind her a little bit there is also you will see some pink poly. This is our anti-static uh, packaging material, okay? This is our low-grade cushioning material that we would utilize, and we would actually wrap a circuit board with that first. Now, one thing about the pink poly is that it's very simple, okay? When you move things around, it's not gonna generate static electricity. But if the circuit board comes in proximity of something that has static electricity on it, it can pass through it. So, as you watch here, you'll see Tammy, she will demonstrate how to wrap the circuit board with the anti-static packaging material. And if you notice, she's doing it on a static dissipative work surface. That way she's not generating any stack electricity. She does have her wrist strap on. She does have her smock on there. Now it's packaged. Okay, first stage. Next thing you will see is what we refer to as a smoke bag or a gray bag. But one of the things that you want to look at on these bags is to make sure that you have the nice little symbol. And you can see the symbol right there. I call it the angel's halo around there with the hand inside the cookie jar. Okay, that means it is protecting everything that is inside of it. Okay, now she's going to put her nice little circuit board she's been working on all day inside of this bag. And again, she still has her wrist strap on. She's gonna fold it over, nice and neat. And then she's gonna grab one of the little labels right there, adhesive labels that you can see, peel it off and stick it right there to seal the bag. Okay, now we can transport this very safely from point A to point B. Okay, so now you can see everything and how we would do it and why we would do it. Okay, now, what would we do this for? Okay, very simple is when we are going to store these or actually we're sending it out to a customer then we put it inside of all these bags and then we could ship it out from here i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you and have a nice day